me get situated. Hi everyone, welcome back to another devotions video. To this book, 366 devotions, trusting in God. Join me, shall you? Today is July 28th, and we're going to be talking about prepare for your eternal destination. I'll be reading in John chapter 6, verses 22 through 34. So first I'm going to read this, and it's going to teach us how to prepare for our eternal destination at the end of our life. Prepare for your eternal destination. Don't be so concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. For God the Father has given me the seal of his approval. John chapter 6 verse 26. There are deaths to God's nature. There are deaths to God's nature that no human could ever estimate, but few people have ever taken the time and gone to the trouble of getting to know God to the best of their ability. They believe in Him and yet refuse to total and conditionally entrust their lives to Him. They say they trust Him and yet worry themselves sick about trivialities. They are surrounded by the glory of the living God, yet they become involved in petty religious issues that dishonor His name. One of the most glorious facts about Christ's teaching is their simplicity. Jesus invites the human being to a new and blessed relationship with the living God and the Father. One of the basic requirements for this relationship is sincere spiritual hunger and willingness to accept Jesus as Redeemer and Savior. This acceptance is not the result of an emotional experience following a specific religious formula but total and unconditional surrender to the Father. You should get into the habit of speaking to God as you go about your daily tasks like you would speak to a friend who, which is actually what he is. As you start having more intimate fellowship with him, he will become more of a reality to you until every aspect of your life is made holy by his presence and you are ready for your eternal destination here's a prayer pray with me I praise and thank you Father God that you share my daily life with me Amen now I'm going to be reading John chapter 6 Verses 22 through 34. Let me get that up and I'll read it for us.
Ready? I'm going to be reading John chapter 6, verses 22 through 34. The next day, the crowd had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake, realized that the one only boat had been there, and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but that they had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples disciples were there, they got into boats and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but only for food that endures to eternal life which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. When they asked him, What must we do to do works that God requires? Jesus asked. Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. That's Jesus. So they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, It is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes from down from heaven and gives you gives life to the world world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Wow, this is wonderful. We need to take the bread of life that God gives us by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Let's read this. They say they they trust Him, yet worry themselves sick about trivialities. They are surrounded by the glory of the living God, yet they become so involved in petty religious issues that dishonor his name. One of the things that dishonors God's name is mockery. I did a video on that. We need to not mock Jesus. If we call ourselves a Christian, we need to not mock Jesus. We, Because that is not preparing for eternal life. Let me read this quote. For a small reward, man will hurry away on a long journey while eternal life, many will hardly take a single step. Thomas A. Kemp's. So thank you for watching this devotion video through the book. 366 devotions. Trusting in God. Remember this. Prepare for your eternal destination. Let us all prepare for our eternal destination. One of the issues we should not do is become involved in petty issues that dishonor, religious issues that dishonor God. And one of those religious issues we should not do is mocking God. Let's stand up against mocking God. Let us 
eat from the bread of life and prepare for the eternal life God has for us. So we also need to, to surrender to God fully and give our lives fully to God and that way God can use us. Thanks for watching. God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.